Okay. Uh, right. Um, hello, and welcome to the quick. Oh, oh, bloody hell! I'll start that again. <laughs> Gosh, I am tired. I am very tired at the end of this year. Um, hello, and uh, welcome to the Creep's speech at Christmas. Um, I am the Creep. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, how do you do? Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just saying a few words, you know, just to uh, you know, spread some Christmas spirit and whatnot. Um, what I'm doing this year is I've, I've asked for suggestions on Facebook and Twitter. Um, just to see that I can talk about things that people might actually be interested in, you know. Um, so I just thought, thought it was a bit more diplomatic way of doing things, you know, a bit more like Jeremy Corbyn or whatnot. So we're just going to jump straight into it. We're going to go on Twitter first. So if I look this way, um, that's just because that's where my computer is. Okay, right, notifications. Um, Right, let's put, uh, right, we uh, were, uh, um, okay. Keith the Gula. Hi, the Creep. Hello, Keith. 2016 will be the Chinese year of the monkey. Is that good, or should we worry? No, I think it's a good thing, Keith. I think we need a monkey in our life, you know? I think this year, people have been a bit obsessed by, sorry, there's something going on outside while I'm trying to, people have been a bit obsessed about, you know, Sloths and things like the sloth. The sloth seems to have been the animal of 2015. It appears in an awful lot of adverts. People always send cars with sloths on it. Well, the sloth's quite a, a lazy animal. I think we need a monkey to jazz things up a bit, Keith. So, yes, I think it's a good thing. And thanks for asking. Right, let's have next um, tweet. Vanessa liked my tweet. Vanessa Hart liked my tweet. Um, well, thank you very much, Vanessa, for liking it. Next time, do pluck up the courage to ask some kind of question and maybe we can interact. Um, not in a creepy way, just, you know, <laughs> maybe a little bit creepy. But as you say, you can, you can ask me something, Vanessa, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Um, London Money. That's the most serious Twitter thing I've ever heard in my life. London Money at London Money FS. Hello, London Money. Keith the Gula. He's incorporated somewhere else. Being friendly. Christmas spirit. Put in prayer. Hello there. Good question. Also, does the creep think European equities will rise by 16% next year like many analysts predict? I mean... I think you're asking the wrong guy, <laughs> London Money. I think, judging by the name of your Twitter thing, you should probably be asking yourself. And the fact that, I, I, I mean, I don't think they know anyway. Like, they didn't really see anything coming, did they? That big thing that happened a few years ago. None of them saw that coming. They all, afterwards, write many, many books about why it happened. It was like, well done for working out something in the past. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty easy. You just walk around asking people what happened, and then you work it out. But predicting things, that's an entirely different story. But I'll give it a go. I'm going to say yes, even 16.5%. That's my prediction. Land money be treated me. Thank you very much. Chief the Gunner, he's back for more. Good on him. The Creep, you're well known for being successful with the ladies. I am. Now, Vanessa, <laughs> that, that is true. Um, so, do feel free to chat, Vanessa. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. How will dating change in 2016? Any 2016 date? Well, it's a good question, Keith. I think people are going to start getting off the internet. I think people have got pretty fed up with the internet. Hang on, I'm on the internet right now. I think this is it. This is like the last thing people are going to see on the internet forever. 
And I think people are fed up on Tinder dates, basically. I've never been on one, but what I hear is I'm absolutely ghastly. And I think people had enough. I don't think people will start doing real things again and meeting people in, like, real ways, because that's the safest way, the nicest way, and it's lovely. That's how we're meant to behave. So I think there will be people will be having parties again. Good. I like a party. Michael Lippmann. Ah, OK. Here we go. The hippie dippy. Do you think that pop-up ads on YouTube will become more irritating and will they make it impossible to skip ads after five seconds? Um, surprisingly serious questions you've all chosen to ask me. <laughs> Nothing Christmassy at all. Um, um, no, I think they'll become less irritating. That I think they will, because that's when you actually watch them is when you're not irritated. When you, I think they become likable, but then that's when that's what's scary, isn't it? When you like an advert, that's scary. Mm -hmm. when you're, the more you like a company, the more scary it is. I hate hoopla. <laughs> um, right, Facebook now. Anyway, here we go. Um, Talao Katoki. What's in store for the creep next? Talao, that's the first, you know, relevant, serious question I've heard. Right here. What's in store for the creep next year? Um... Maybe the Edinburgh Fringe? I'm thinking about going there and doing a creep about. No plan? No plan at all. If you think that's a good idea, um, just comment below and say, that's a good idea. Yeah. If not, um, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> yeah, no venue, just going to go walk around, creep about. Say hello. Right, there we go. Catherine Haslam. Um, does the creep believe in astrology? And what the stars already say this year will be. Mm. Well, Catherine, um, I don't, mm, I, don't, I don't think I do. No, I don't think I believe. I don't know. It's a big, it's a big question, Catherine. It's a big, big question, and I think, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> go for Nando. I want to talk more about to Kevin. I think, I mean, we're from the stars, aren't we? You know what I mean? You know, we all come from the same stuff. So, obviously, everything in the universe affects everything else in some way, but some very small and insignificant ways. So, I think, I don't know, really. It's all a mystery, isn't it? A mystery. Ooh. Um, <laughs> That's all I've got to say about that. Edgar Fernando. Is that, is that your real name? Wah! Guan Creep. Edgar often pretends to be from, like, the hood or something. He actually grew up in Merton Park. It's quite a nice suburb of South West London. Uh, <laughs> he's not from the ghetto. <laughs> I'm from the ghetto. Why is it if two wrongs don't make a right, then two negatives make a positive in mathematics. Isn't it messed up in it? Respect from. Well, I mean, that is... I mean, he sets himself up, beginning and end, as if he was not going to ask a very intelligent question, but actually, he has. Hasn't he, really? That's pretty... I've never been asked that before, I think that's pretty spot on. Um, although, not entirely right, <laughs> I have to say. So I'm just going to mathematically correct you there, because for instance, minus 1 plus minus 4 is actually minus 5. Um, so, minus 1 times minus 4, that's a different story. But, two negatives make a positive. I mean, that's not correct. So, because you, you didn't say two negatives, a negative times a negative, you said two negatives. That's what one negative plus a negative, I believe, is what you meant. So, yeah, I mean, that's just not true. So, um, and also, negative doesn't mean wrong, you know, being minus five on a number line isn't the wrong. But if I slap your mother, <laughs> and you slap my mother, <laughs> all we've got is two slap mothers. <laughs> but a pretty funny story telling the pub. <laughs> James Witt, he's back, he's back. He often interacts with me, I like this guy. 
Tasha's milkshake brings all the boys to her yard. What would you, <laughs> what would you do recommend I do to bring all the boys to my yard? <laughs> I love this guy so much. I mean, nah, he's put some effort. He's got two likes just for a question, and I. <laughs> I've got nothing funny to say. I'm not trying to be funny, but I've got nothing funny to say for that. Um, I mean, <laughs> you're pretty fit, and you can sing. He's a good guy. He's a good all-round athlete, performer. He's a good bloke, James Whit, good bloke. I recommend you check him out. I believe in a group called Music Box. And if you want all your boys to be, I just, for you, James, just open the door to the yard, and they'll come in. You know, just say, I'm in my yard, and they'll be there. Edward Falker, he's still got that joke. It's not a real name. It's not a real name. Edgar Fernando and Edmund Falker. Okay. My resolution for 2016 is to lose weight. You're not that big. Ed, you're manly. I saw you appear in a play this year and you are sexy as fuck. Okay? So don't worry, there's nothing majorly wrong. How do you recommend I lose weight? Well, I mean, number one, no, no, you are, I mean, your sexiness is, uh, you're like a proper actor, you know, like Oliver Reed is sexy, but without being a beanpole. And I think these days, everyone thinks they have to be like One Direction and skinny jeans and stuff. But if you don't, Ed, you've got it going on, because you're a man, yeah? There's something manly about you. Uh. <laughs> If you do want to lose weight, though, um, I recommend cut cereal, first of all, don't have cereal, because then you, you could start your day with sugar. And then, in fact, weirdly enough, start your day with a salad of cucumber, olive oil, lettuce, tomatoes, because it's all about fibre these days, get lots of fibre. But cereal, not fibre, not like vegetables. Try to eat as much fucking vegetables as you can, and then, so you haven't got room left for crap. Phil G, Lady G, Gerald Carroll, and eight others like this. Didn't ask anything, guys. You know, next time, interact. That's what I'm going to say. Interact. Right. Last bit of Facebook, and then we're done. And then it's Christmas. Am I right? It's going on a long time. <laughs> if anyone's watched this far, just, can you just comment at the bottom the word carrot? Okay? Just so I know... This is worth babbling on this long. The quick Christmas speech is coming soon. Is there anything we'd like to ask in the ahead? Maria and Emma like this. No questions. No. Everyone's too scared to ask anything. No, it could have been a lot more helpful, guys. You know, a lot more helpful. But, you know, you guys just didn't speak up. and put your head above the parapet. So that's going to be my advice for the next year, 2016. Everyone... Put your head above the parapet, you know, not just, not just a little bit, like that. You know, fully, fully up, like, hello, I'm here. And you would people throw, like, <laughs> arrows, actually, I don't know why they throw an arrow. If people throw arrows at you, then just, just catch them and throw them back. And eventually, don't just climb above the parapet, guys, in 2016. Climb above the parapet, walk along the parapet, get onto the flagpole, drop, climb up the flagpole, and let's get, let's get, let's get hundreds of us at the top of that flagpole, just waving around in the wind, all naked. How's that sound? Okay? So come out of the cellars, everybody. Come out and climb up those parapets. And last of all, I just, I've got some props here. <laughs> it's the only bit that's planned. Last of all, I just want to say, everybody, from the creek, that I wish you all a very merry Christmas and a happy new year. Okay? I wish you all. <laughs>